Luke Sinclair, how has content marketing increased your turnover of your estate agency and letting agency? Talk to me. Okay, so let me tell you what content marketing is or isn't. This is through your eyes, so yeah. go for it. So content marketing is giving information. It's not holding your cards to your chest. So it's giving information, whether or not that is information that's happening in a legal sense with lettings um, to make landlords aware of it, even if it's just a simple thing around cold and uh, condensation and mould, renter's reform bill, change in electrical safety, or it could be what's happening to property prices. Um, are first-time buyers ex exiting the market? Things that are going to be relevant to your audience. Now, it hasn't got to be relevant to 100% of your audience because you can't be vanilla. You can't be where you want to appeal to everyone. If, if you want to do that, then it's, you may as well not, not bother because it's going to be too bland. You need to be able to pinch a nerve um, on a target audience. Um, and Neil Martin talks about it. It's about your avatar, isn't it? So what avatar are you writing to with this particular piece or what are you trying to target? So because a homeowner is not interested, unless they're a landlord, in the renter's reform bill. So they'll switch off instantly. But your landlord is, or you want to be landlord, is. But mum and dad that have got little Johnny at home are interested in whether or not first-time buyers are still entering the market. I mean, you do put an, an, a huge amount of content out. I mean, like, why don't you do what every other estate agent does, which is listing, 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 testimonial, listing, 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 look what we've sold? Because it doesn't work. We've, and we've tried it. Why do you think other agents do that? Uh, because they think that everyone wants to know about their listings, but there's a website called Rightmove that does that for you. Yes, you can put the odd, and there are examples of where a listing goes viral on Facebook, but it's not because of what the agent does, um, but very, very rarely. Um, and I, I always remember Josh Vegan saying, did Domino's Pizza say, just made a pizza, just delivered a pizza, just made a pizza, just delivered a pizza. That's exactly what we're doing, is that we've just listed this house for sale. We've just sold this house. No, they're putting on whether or not it's, this is the flavor of the month or winter warmers or um, special offers or, or something. They're, they're, doing, they're doing content around, around their pizzas rather than saying, we've just made this cheese and tomato pizza for Mr. Jones. So, um, be, and who would be interested in watching the Domino's Facebook feed like that? They wouldn't, but every agent does it. Or nearly every agent. Yeah. So it's boring and dull. So, I mean, you do chuck out lots of content. So whereabouts, so we've done what is con good yeah. content marketing and we've said what bad content marketing is. Do you write, do you, I mean, is it just audio? Is it video? Is it written word or everything? Most, most of the time, uh, it, used to, it used to be audio and video. Um, most, most of the time it is the written word um, and that will be on the, either our Knightsbridge site or it'll be on our blog site, the Leicester Property blog, or sometimes it will be with our Landlords Club, Landlords First, which we use WhatsApp for. So it's to send out, so if it's something on the renter's reform bill or something that we've done this morning on condensation and mould, then we're sending them a, like a bit of an exclusive uh, heads up about it with a free download if they want a guide to send on to their own tenant. They don't need to be a, a, um, a landlord of ours. But again, we want to nurture those landlords on a one-to-one -one basis over WhatsApp um, for that. So it's generally the written word. We should be doing it in video. We should be doing it. Yes, on. I know you, you before COVID, you, were, yeah. you had um, Love Oadby, which was yeah. where you were almost doing like a programme, weren't you? Yeah. Um, and interviewing local shopkeepers. Yeah. What's interviewing shopkeepers got to do with selling houses? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. But it's what your community are interested in. Because that's Cause what Jerry Lyons keeps saying. Yeah. Talk about your community. Because your community aren't buying houses every day, but they are going to the local golf club. They are going to the local coffee shop or the furniture retailer um, or the Subway sandwich shop down, down the road. Um, but you, you've then just got to be seen 
because it, it comes back to that pizza analogy. There's lots of pizza shops around, but the one that sticks in our head is Domino's because they are everywhere. They're, they used to sponsor The Simpsons. They used to sponsor the football at half time. Nine times out of 10, you'd come home on a Friday night and there's a leaflet shoved through your door. Um, they pop up on social with, with their adverts all the time. So it's the equivalent of that being there in the right places that are going to be seen by the people that when they're ready to transact, you've already built up a rapport and history. Because you've created content which is of interest to them and it isn't all about listings because they'll go to right move. So do you write all your own content? No, so um, we do do some of our own content, very rarely, um, but- Classic we, thing of no time. Yeah, no, no time. And by the time you sat down and you, you try to get into the right headspace and uh, it's time for lunch now. So, yeah. um, so no, so we use Jerry Lyons. Exceptional. Yeah, so again, Jerry does mixtures of content, whether or not it's sales, lettings, community-based, or like seller guides. So based upon the, the seller situation. So those are downloadable guides which you can convert with your own yeah. name and logo on. Absolutely. They are really, really good. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 again, it, that, that customer then kind of, yeah, you get me. So I'm selling a probate property. Someone's just passed away and you've sent me a guide on what the map of the world looks like for me ahead i want to deal with someone that understands me at this moment in time yes so they, they work really well um we use um christopher watkin i don't know if you know him never heard of him never heard of him so um so we use christopher watkin and again that jerry and chris uh, someone once said why do you use both of them they're two different styles because whereas chris is uh, very much a stat based um yes there are some other articles that, that he provides as part of it um but then jerry is uh the nice fluffy bits the short sharp bits of information so like the condensation of mold one today or the one about sales progression and why it's important uh, <clears throat> and like so they they do really dovetail in really really nicely i think it's a bit like a newspaper isn't it there's the business section there's the sports section yeah there's the the lifestyle section and you've got to produce the whole gambit but as long as it, it'll hook whoever's interested in it yeah and by creating that content people will be naturally attracted to you i mean are you surprised that other estate agents don't do content marketing you know yeah um but a lot of the time they just want to talk about themselves is that because they're egotistical no i just think uh, i don't think they're egotistical i, th I think they just feel that that's that's, that's what that's what they've got to do and we're the best because of this well how about helping the customer at that point in time i mean you said in the previous video that you didn't consciously go with this but it's the long game is it the long game with in your own career is it the long game with content marketing as well it has to be because i, I remember when we first um, signed up with you and you always used to say look don't expect to put a month or two months worth of blog articles out there and expect a phone to be ringing off the hook. It, that's, it doesn't happen like that. It's a year. Um, it is. And, and I call them um, my stealth stalkers quite often um, in that you'll get a phone call one day. And this was classic over COVID because we're in this period of uncertainty. And that I've been reading your blog articles for the past um, couple of months. And... Um, I had one last, uh, for example, one that stuck out whilst I was in Australia last year. I think it was like eight o'clock at night over there. And, uh, and it was a landlord that wanted to switch managing agents. And the opening line was, I've been reading your, your blog articles for a number of months now. And, um, can you handle that? Not how much do you charge? What do you do? Can you handle that? Of course we can. So it's, it's about, it's, Again, doing it can again. It's that consistency. Again, what a lot of people do is they'll get your blog articles, or they'll get a blog article from Jerry or from yourself, and then not post it, and then all of a sudden do twenty in one go. It's just kind of drip, 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 drip it out there. Uh, again, it's the old Gary V, isn't it? Jab, jab, jab. Right hook. Mm. Thank you for your time today. You've been exceptional, Luke. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>